Hey everybody, welcome back to Tin Plated. I'm Hannah. I'm Rob. I'm playing Rochard, and uh, yeah, let's see, it's been a couple of weeks since I've played. Uh, if I remember correctly, we left off. Um, All right. We're following that British chick after our, our buddy died. Right, which, you know. Uh, rest in peace, What, whatever your name was. I'm sure you were very important. Uh, That's that. That worked out well. Oh, I remember this room. I remember this room. Doop. doop, 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 boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Very nice. This game would be made better with fully destructible environments. All games would be better with fully oh. destructible environments. Speaking of, uh, have you heard about uh, EverQuest Next? No, I have not. Uh, there are two games, uh, obviously, by the makers of EverQuest that are coming out. One of them is EverQuest Next, which is an MMO in the traditional sense, but... It has fully or nearly full destructible environments, and the politics of the game, like the uh, like the ruling uh, the ruling powers and uh, the cities, are all determined by the actions that the players make. Like, now, like there's no cities until the players build them. And you know what? That is something I've said I wanted to see in MMOs for a long time. Would be real world consequences to player actions as a group. Yeah, and the fact that there's more than one uh, result. You know, when you follow a quest line, everyone gets, normally everyone gets the same result and, the, you know, the same dialogue and the same choices, but your choices actually affect uh, the way the game goes. For a multiplayer game, that's something kind of, I wouldn't have thought they could do that, but apparently they can, and I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I think that's definitely really cool. And, and it's going to be free to play, too. Really? Now that is something that I would yeah. not expect. Well, I mean, all. how long has EverQuest 2 been free to play? A good while. Yeah, but this is something new and new and different. I think they've kind of, you know, most people have figured out people want free to play. Right. Well, uh, I think that's kind of a given. The yeah. internet wants free things. They're also coming out with a game. Um, it's EverQuest something or other. I cannot remember the name of it, but um, it is. Pretty much uh, EverQuest meets Minecraft. They now have um, constructible blocks, just like Minecraft, and you can build permanent structures in the universe. It's similar, but it's different in a lot of ways. Like, um, if you imagine a Minecraft block is yay big, uh, the blocks in uh, this new EverQuest game are going to be about maybe a fifth of that size. And then also, once you build your structure, you can round them out. I would like to go ahead and say for the record that a Minecraft block is a yard on a side. Or a meter. Officially? Yes. I guess, uh, yeah, using a Steve as your unit of measure, your, uh, me base measurement. Actually, yes, that is how they did it. It's also, uh, as a result of that. Ah, ah fuck! You lasered yourself. Yes, I did. What? I as a result of, of knowing that, you can actually figure out how fast Steve can run. Um, how fast can Steve run? I don't remember anymore, but uh, a friend of mine and I wanted to know that one time. So we figured each block's, you know, 100 meters or a meter. So we set up 100 of them and timed how long it took Steve to run it and then just, you know, did the math on it. Steve is actually really fast. Like on a scale of uh, dial-up internet to Usain Bolt? I mean, he's not the lightning, but he's quick. Hmm. Like when he's dashing through the snow in his one horse open sleigh. Right, yeah. He is He is much faster than your average person. That's, that's what you should really take away from him. He is unburdened by... Thing like by uh, this thing called terrain. I'm sorry, he's <laughs> carrying a, a backpack full of pickaxes. True. Stone, enough stone to build a, a small fortress in his pockets. He doesn't have a backpack. That's right. Yeah. Apparently, he's got girl pockets because you can't see them, but they're there. Only unlike girl pockets, he can actually hold things in his pants. I was about to say, I thought it was a well-known fact women's clothing didn't have pockets. Curse you, Steve, and your usable pockets that you can't see. They don't make his waist any bigger. Lucky bastard. 
Because that is what the tin plated viewers come for. Fashion advice. Meh. <laughs> well said. Well said. Okay. Got the thing. Okay. Not. I'm still trying to figure out what the objective of this room is. I said there no, doesn't seem to be a way out. There is, and you'll see it here in just a second, actually. See all those brought boxes I just destroyed? Hello. Right. These don't counter swing. So now what? Ah. Ah, uh, it's gonna be. A little... Right. See, it's tight. <laughs> Ah, shit! Every fucking time! <laughs> Let's try something else else. Uh, every goddamn time! Take three. Snap. Speaking of snap, everyone should add us on Snapchat. Um, we've got quite a few viewers, which is super cool on there. I had to have the guys explain to me exactly what Snapchat was. Because I live apparently in the technological dark ages. You have a flip phone. It's a QWERTY. Oh. It slides. My smartphone has a QWERTY too, and it's digital. Ooh, mine has buttons. When you press them, they go click. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Haven't quite caught on to your. Uh, Hoity toity fancy touchscreen technology. Yeah, that's what it is. That's a. Yeah. I'm living in the fucking future. You'll all see when all technology falls and the computers stop working. I can probably at least still use my phone as a. Uh, For what? A rudimentary shitty hammer? something I yeah. can hide very thin objects between the front and the QWERTY keyboard uh-huh like a very small piece of alien tech Woo! so we we're at the technological apocalypse but there's alien tech yes and that's why the aliens came and destroyed all of our tech because one of their spaceships crash landed in Nevada have it. It's only a matter of time before they come for it. We have to hide it. And that's why we still have Nokia phones. Okay, this this next part is gonna be bold. I I have faith in you. God damn it! <laughs> it's nerve-wracking! Uh... Okay, that could work. Can you not reach, uh, like, get on that left platform? I need another thumb! Can you not pull that plug from up there? That'll work. Oh! Ah! Oh my god. That's right, John boy! Ha <laughs> ha! Now what? Uh, I need to remember how to fire a... That's how you shoot a grenade! <laughs> god damn it, stop following me! <laughs> woo -hoo! Checkpoint, bitches! Hmm. We have a box. Oh, you dumb little boy. <laughs> Look out. Right in your face. No one shoots John Rochard in the face. He's gonna need that face. It's a manly face. Ladies. Damn right. Wonder if there is a Mrs. Rochard. Uh, I think it might be this British chick we're trying to save. <laughs> I didn't see no ring. Well, I mean, that's how John keeps it. You know, he, he doesn't want to be tied down, but he's got to keep himself a little something on the regular. Ooh, workplace drama. Right, you know, he, he plays the field. Jo old John does. Bloop. Okay, I might be stuck down here. 
No, nah, it's okay. No. You can fly. Do, 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 do. What is that red thing? Is that some sort of explosive? I do believe that. No, that's the fuse. Okay. No, that's the fuse. Yeah, no, the fuse is right there. Yeah. Well, ooh. God, it didn't kick on. But I mean that red thing down, uh, the glowy thing by the staircase. It's a bomb. That's what I thought. Goodbye, bomb. Okay. Point of this laser is what? I think it was meant to make it easier to kill the bad guys. I don't see why they'd even need to give you something like that when, uh... You can just as easily shit, shit, shit. just as easily kill the bad shit, guys shit. with your wet with your wits and your pew pew. Okay, I know how to get through now. Uh huh? Alright, there we go. Box acquired. Yep, you'll see. Fucking brilliant. Until that happens. <laughs> Well, hmm. nothing over here to pick up. Uh, something over there. No, just, just fuck this guy. He's thinking the same thing about you. Except one of us got his name on the cover of the box, and the other is just a nameless, faceless bad guy asshole. Hmm. Maybe? Maybe. Uh. What are you even hitting? Well, I don't, I don't think you can go through that. I don't think you can either now. I wonder if this? Just you. Well, then what even? None of this lifts. Woo. Hard. I have no clue. Holy shit, I'm stuck. You got three boxes, fuse, a laser that doesn't really point to anything that you can even destroy. A door that's locked. So you had a bomb, but if it was... So the laser took care of If it was it. only one bomb, it wouldn't be something crucial to uh, advancing. Or else they'd give you limitless bombs. Right, this, exactly. This game isn't out to fuck you three times till Sunday. Right. Right on that score. And you can't make that jump. Oh, that's not how you do it. That doesn't... Hmm. There's no other kind of double jump you can do without the box that... No, not not really. You, 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 I mean, you can jump. Now, uh, I mean, your, your gravity jump is pretty good. Have you tried jumping from the second platform? I was just thinking that, actually, yeah. If it's that the problem is you, it's further back. You it won't do no, anything. You have no space for air. You're right at the ceiling. Exactly. See, it's fun. That does sh No, that's shitty. Fuck. I'm stumped. I don't know. Yeah, when, when we see the solution, we're just gonna feel like idiots. Yeah, now... Okay. That lets me pass through. And you can put uh, boxes on top of that, can't you? But it won't let beams pass through. No, that's irrelevant. Ba. 
box. <clears throat> Reminds me of the companion cube. <laughs> God damn, I missed that guy. Rest in peace, companion cube. Ah, shit. Okay, now, well, now the level's gonna reset, so maybe we can see Figure something. Figure it out, yeah. We missed? Maybe. Or we'll just stay here and, uh, stay here for. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll take that. Damn right we will. I don't even. I don't even know. I don't wanna know. That's cool. Onion Cube has heard our pleas. All <laughs> right. All hail the cube. Cube of Omens, come to my hand. Oh, whoa, whoa, fuck, fuck, cube. fuck! Oh, you've got an uh, explodable floor. Yeah. Ooh, a thingy. Thingy where you get the thing. Yeah, that's our explosium regenerator. Yay. Woo! And away we go. Ooh, we have found the crystal caves. Right. Is that what we're mining? I don't you know. You just fucked a bunch of it up. Damn right I did. Well, fuck this company anyway. Yeah, exactly. Let fuck the man. <laughs> fuck the police. <laughs> fuck your establishment, space capitalism. And your couch. Beautiful. Mm. I've been searching for this place for a very long time. With your help, of course. Oh, that's, uh... Yeah. Ass. Turbinium. No Ass wonder hat. we haven't found it. John! Oh, hi, John. Nice of you to join us. He's, you she's in particle prison. You very resilient. What on earth are you up to, Max? I'm looking for something. And this room holds the instructions for how to... Alien play. artifact. I'd love to stay in chat, but I have to go. Spoiler alert, it's in my phone. Now, I just can't have you shooting off your mouth about <laughs> this. So unfortunately, you're about to have a little mining accident. You spineless maggot! Her Max, ponytail is lethal. Dead ass, though. <laughs> Put up your honey. Ta -ta. Oh. Bruno, get over to the casino and bring the chief to me. He said honey. He'll know how to read this. He's, he's, he's serious yeah, now. Boy, you hear that? Bring heads, leave my uncle alone. Get to the casino and bring me the chief. He'll know how to read the symbols. Space Indians? The answer to this is space Indians? What is this, Futurama? Okay, that looks like a core. I was just thinking that. <laughs> the mining core, I guess. Oh shit, it changes color. Very nice. Pretty. That's gonna come in, oh shit. Help. Unsafe operating Texas for explosions. This one. That's it. Ha! Ah, there it is. I'm gonna go show it my ass. Yeah, what up? What up? Ooh, it's vibrating. It's John Rochard's asshole. Whoop. Bye. You like a winner, lady? I bet you do. How did that bomb open up anything? The bomb was over there. Yeah. You know what? By the way, fuck this thing. What even is that? I don't, uh, it's a scanner, I think it said. Yeah. Ooh. So it's what Space Indian. Space. It looks like a temple of some kind. Someone went through a lot of trouble to build this. These glyphs seem familiar. I'm sure I've seen these before. This writing looks Native American. Oh my uh -huh. stars. An ancient temple with Native American graffiti hidden so inside an asteroid. Red Indians miles got from to Earth. space. Yeah, it's been that kind of day. How the fuck does that happen? Well, we defunded our space program, so... What? Can you, you reckon the Navajo Nation got together and funded theirs? I don't think so. Take the scanner to Skylar. Oh, do you mean the one that I just said, hey, fuck this thing and shot? That yeah, scanner? Yeah, I think so. 
Hey, Scanner, uh... So sorry about that, buddy. We, we cool, right? Yeah, yeah, we cool. We don't mean what we, we don't we don't mean what we said. Okay, now it's pulsing, and I guess it's reading the stuff. Thousands of years ago, managed to build a temple inside an asteroid, billions of miles away from Earth. Good question. This yeah, wow. Said, Proof of extra Tennessee and So life. Indians are aliens? Whatever it points to. Big enough to make Max Million flip his lid. Hmm. <laughs> well, what a twist. Right? Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Solid reference there. It's an asteroid casino. Oh. Really? Really, really. I can't I cannot wait to see this guy. I am betting he is just a stereotype to a fucking team. He's gonna have a headdress. No sign of wild boys. That's a good and or bandana. I'll steer the ship and hack into the system. You'll have staff access in a Oh, I can't control gravity. I'll meet up with you later. Alright, so it's a casino, so there Oh, there's a bar! Well, I'm sold. Now if y'all just point me in the direction of the titties. Zeronimo. He should be in his office. Alright. There's a bar. I'm gonna need myself some uh, some strippers. What? Whoa! Like, fuck! Like it's Arizona. Arizona. And Rochard thinks the same. All what does that say? Spin from the same web. All. It's all connected. All dreams spin from the same web. Oh it's boy. It's too quiet in here. This place is cleaned out. Skyler, I'm stuck here. The office is upstairs, but the elevator's busted. How's that what is that upstairs? Thing coming along? Hang on, let me try this. Is she gonna disable gravity? Yeah, and then I'm gonna be able to jump up there. Uh, nope. Once she right. well, I have to I'll get to the gravity. the gravity generator and get the control access. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a kill on side order on anybody that I see. Ooh, pretty spinny thing. It's electrified as balls, is what it is. What is this place? This gravity generator is 40 years old. There you go. Wait, this is an old sky down there. mine. The casino is built on top of Something an old right. abandoned mine. Boop. Are we floating now? Yep. I'm floating. Uh, no, I don't. Do I have Yep, I do have gravity control. All right. What is that on the right, down on the floor? Is that? So I'm gonna have to put this fuse. I don't think it'll go through the blue. It'll go through the red one. Fuse. Ah, you're right. Hmm. You have a blue floor and up or not. Okay, what was the point of this? Here's your red, which I can't go through. But items can. Why do you need to? What do you need to get up there? There's no, there's no more plugs up there. I don't see the point of this thing. Neither do I. And we've done fucked with gravity, so... Oh, hey! Hi! Where the fuck did you come from? Hey, you're not the only one looking for a drink in this the place. The wild boys beat us here. Stay at the ship. John, please hurry. You have to find my uncle before the wild boys do. Let's say the wild All boys right. do sound like your quintessential uh, rough customers in an old western. Okay, I got it. Oh. Okay. 
this. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Check this out. You're gonna like this. Oh. Yay. Yeah, yeah. They die so gracefully. As long as they die, I'm happy. Y'all ain't wild enough, I guess. They should have brought wild men. Damn right they should have. <laughs> Let me show you wild. I control gravity. I am God. Never, don't send a wild boy to do a wild man's job. Damn right about that. <laughs> Speaking of drinks. So they gave me that fuse. That looks like it'll fry you a little bit. Wait, wait you can walk on. No, you go through that. Yep. Stuff does not you do. Well, I've got a theory. Let us test your theory with science. Nope. Not enough mass, I guess? Yeah, it won't do it. No. Damn. Why did you land on that? I don't know. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea at the time, I guess. Hey. There's a bomb. Oh. Pretty fucking obvious. Don't pull the fuse and you can walk across the red. You can pull the fuse if you want to send that guy to a sparkly death, but right. then you have to put it back. Who wants a box? You get a box! You get a box! You get a box! Oh shit! <laughs> you also nearly kill old Johnny Boy! Oh, <laughs> right in the face! All right, well, with that note, I think we'll have to take this one. Uh, we'll call this an episode. Thanks, everybody. I'm Rob. I'm Hannah. See this you next time. This was Richard. Bye.